Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The Health Ministry says tests have confirmed that Jamaica now has its first case of the chikungunya virus. The ministry says it received confirmation of a positive sample on Thursday morning from the Caribbean Public Health Agency. Prosecutors have dropped the corruption case against businessman Bruce Bicknell. However, Assistant Director of Public Prosecutions Tracy Ann Johnson says the matter against co-accused Daryl Vaz will go ahead. The Education Minister Ronald Thwaite says the government is working to pay the JPS more than $150 million owed by schools in light bills. Already the power to at least four schools have been disconnected because of the non-payment of bills. The Attorney General Patrick Atkinson says in due course more details surrounding the sudden retirement of Police Commissioner Owen Ellington will be revealed. In the meantime, he is dismissing as speculations the reasons that have been floating in the public domain about Ellington's departure. In sports, Asafa Powell's agent Paul Doyle has described as a complete fiasco the athlete's treatment by Jamaica's anti-doping authority. On Monday, the Court of Arbitration for Sport reduced the doping ban for Powell and colleague Sharon Simpson from 18 months to 6 months. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across inland areas of western parishes. It will be windy across southern coastal areas. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.